Thank you once again for joining us. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and supporting this channel. Your support shall always mean the absolute world to us. Now, on the latest news, on the teaser trailer that we saw, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, says baby Lily is teething. And Auntie Ellen makes a joke just to kill her to help. That's Auntie Ellen for you. Megan joked about the talk show host who is her neighbor in Montecito, California. Megan Markle is sharing daughter Lilibeth Diana's latest milestone. The Duchess of Sussex will appear on the Ellen DeGeneres show Thursday and in a promo ahead of the show's airing, Megan shares an update on daughter Lilibeth Diana who was born on June 4th. Now, Ellen reveals that Lily is now teething before the clip cuts to Megan with her hands up by her mouth and saying, anything to relieve that. Tequila? Anything? The talk show host quips. That's Auntie Helen for you, Megan says with a little smile. That's why I don't have kids, retorts Ellen DeGeneres. Now, the preview also shows the TV host who is Megan and Prince Harry's neighbor in Montecito asking the mom of two what Prince Harry was loving about California, Megan's home state where the family relocated last year. And what I'm so, so happy, guys, to share with you what Megan said is that they are happy, which is what we have always wanted, which is why we even built this channel, Sasqua Family TV. To seek out their happiness, to seek out their prosperity. And hearing those words from Megan that they are finally happy. That means the world to all of us. It means the absolute world. And for that, we say thank you. We are just happy, Megan replies. And that's more than that's what we want to hear. We are just happy. The couple previously opened up about their life in California during their sit-down with Oprah Winfrey that aired in March. So Prince Harry said, to have, to, have, to have outdoor space where I can go for walks with Archie and we go for walks as a family and with the dogs, you know, we go on hikes or go to down to the beach, which is so close. That means the absolute world to them. And seeing them happy, seeing the smile on Prince Harry's face, seeing the smile and finally joy and happiness to Meghan, face this means the world to us fans we are so happy to see it as even harry said about their life in california is that the highlight for me is taking him on the back back of the bicycle in his little baby seat and taking him on bike rides is something which i never was able to do when i was young i can see him on the back and he's got his arms out chatting palm tree house harry had it sharing archie's new vocabulary which is something that it brings me great joy and delight just seeing them prince harry and megan happy megan was asked what what is prince harry loving about california and she said they're happy as a fan that means the world to me to hear it's something that just i just want for them that i've always been happy to hear after everything that i saw megan go through at the hands of the UK tabloid, The Firm, at the hands of Prince William, Kate Milton, and Jason Knopf, after every single thing that I've seen her go through, hearing those words that she's finally, that they are happy, that means the world to us. So, Megan, who wore a cream top with voluminous sleeves and cutouts paired with black pants and matching pumps, also had her trusted glam team with her. Longtime friend and makeup artist Daniel Martin, a great fan, friend of Megan, who when Megan left joined the royal family was seen to be in tears. And now she's back, he's back with her friend. He's back with her friend, Megan. And I'm so happy for Daniel Martin. I'm so, so happy for him, especially for him. I'm so happy for him. And longtime friend and makeup artist Daniel Martin helped get her camera ready alongside hairstylist Jason Law. We were backstage the entire time, Martin tells people. It's really fun and Ellen really pulled out Megan's goofy funny side, which everyone will be able to finally see. A sneak peek of the episode, Liz Wednesday showed a hint of what with Megan 
reminiscing about going on auditions on the same Warner Brothers lot when she worked as an actress before meeting Prince Harry. Miss Megan said, the security guards will always say, break a leg, we hope you get it. So the drive in today was very different, Megan said. Megan also shared that she used to drive an old Ford Explorer sport with a life of its own, as she described it, to audition. Since the key on the driver's side door wouldn't work, she had a unique way of getting in. I would park in the back of the parking lot and open the trunk then climb in and pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get out she explained with a laugh that's how i would come to and from megan tells us about her past life and every single thing that she's been through she's worked hard she's worked for every single thing that she's ever had no one gave her something she worked for it she went to auditions she faced disappointments and eventually she made it she was ready to give all our hard work more than five minutes. She gave it five years. She worked extremely hard to get to where she is. She is the only self-made millionaire to ever marry into the royal family. Nobody, not her father, not her mother, gave her handouts. She worked for what she had. And Megan achieved every single thing she was able to achieve due to her hard work. And she deserves all my respect, respect love, and admiration she is an amazing hero and an amazing person she is a hero and we love her so so much and megan also shared that she used to drive an old ford explorer sport with a life of its own as she described it since the key on the driver's side door wouldn't work she had a un unique way of getting it so Megan already said that I would park in the back of the parking lot and open the truck, then climb in and pull it shut behind me and crawl over all my seats to get in and out. She explained with a laugh. That's how I would come to and fro. So you see, Megan has been working for so many years. She got to where she 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 got to because of hard work. So Megan said, should anyone come near her, Megan said she would play it off by pretending to look for things in her trunk. Megan and the talk show host friendship began years ago with a chance encounter at a dog shelter where the former actress was debating whether to adopt her first paid bogart. And every single thing that Megan has been through has shaped her to this day. Every single thing. So Megan said that Ellen asked her one thing. Megan says, now I don't know her. But Ellen goes, is that your dog? And I said, no. And she's like, you have to take that dog. And I said, well, I'm deciding. And she's like, rescue the dog. Megan recalled in best health. It's sort of like if Oprah tells you to do something, I'm sitting there holding him. And she's like, have you thought of a name for him yet? And I said, well, I think I named him Bogart. And she's like, you are taking the dog home. Megan continued. And she walks outside to get into her car. But instead of getting in, she turns around and comes and taps on the window glass. And she yells, take the dog. And so I brought him home because Ellen told me so and that was how their friendship began the friendship of Me Megan and Ellen DeGeneres now thank you so much for tuning in thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and thank you for supporting our channel your support shall always mean the absolute world to us thank you so so much Aunt Lilibeth is teething and we are all happy to hear it and Megan and Prince Harry are finally happy in California. And we are so glad to hear it. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for our next video. With so much love from Sasquatch Family TV.